You're watching News 24 Live. On Sunday, a Cape Town cyclist was beaten and threatened with a knife on Table Mountain while the perpetrators made off with his 40,000 Rand mountain bike. It's brought the issue of personal safety and crime on Table Mountain under the spotlight again. Robert Fogel from the Pedal Power Association, who promotes personal safety for cyclists, joins us in studio this morning. Robert, thank you very much for coming in. Pleasure. First of all, have the incidences on Table Mountain or Table Mountain National Park, have they increased or decreased over the past year? Um, well, if you look at it statistically, they, they have increased because we've had a period of about uh, two and a half years. I refer specifically to incidents against cyclists. We've had a period of two and a half years where nothing has happened. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's an increasing curve mm. um, because these incidents are sporadic and when they tend to happen they are sort of bundled together so it's quite concentrated sort of spate of events um, mm. very seasonal and they tend to go away over the winter period and now just in the run-up to, to summer we're starting to see that pattern develop again where crime is starting to raise its head again unfortunately. Mm. Now is there a dip in winter because of the, 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 the weather conditions or is it just the sort of amount of cyclists and runners and hikers on the trails? Uh, the use of the mountain, I mean throughout the year we have the reports from sand parks, they get about four million visits to the park annually mm. including tourists um, that visit the popular destinations but I think the uh, Cape Townians use the mountain regularly, rain or shine. Mm. Uh, we saw on Sunday the weather was atrocious, but there's still a number of people out on the mountain. Yeah. So it's not necessarily related to numbers. It's just um, seasonal. It's cold. It's wet. The criminals, I think, like are in that respect to be regarded as human beings as well. They don't like the wet. They don't like the cold. So they tend to stay away and look for easier picking somewhere else. And then once it gets warmer, sun's up earlier, guys are out on the mountain sooner, uh, the opportunities obviously then increase. Mm -hmm. Now Robert, uh, Pedal Power Association, um, what is your role then in, in this regard with uh, the safety of cyclists? And I have to ask, I mean, are cyclists, runners, hikers targeted more? What? It seems like there's a lot of cyclists in the news these days for incidences like this. Well, I mean, as Pedal Power, we're, a, we're the largest um, cycling organization mm -hmm. in the country. Uh, we're a public benefit organization. We have uh, around 19,000 members. Um, I'm a keen cyclist, obviously, but I'm also a mountain biker and I live close to the mountain. So this mm -hmm. is very close to my heart. Um, we look after all cycling uh, groups, mountain bikers, road cycling, uh, youth, kids, everybody. Mm -hmm. But safety, I think, uh, covers everybody. Um, mm -hmm. And so we take a particular interest in this. Uh, as Pedal Power, we're also part of the uh, Table Mountain Safety Forum, which concerns itself with these issues. Uh, the other stakeholders there are Sand Parks, obviously, SAPS, City of Cape Town, Cape Town Tourism, Western Cape Safety and, Secu uh, Safety and Security. Um, we all sit around a table and discuss these issues, and uh, we meet on a monthly basis. Uh, we look at what's going on on the mountain, so th from that, perspective, pedal power is very actively involved because we represent the cyclists essentially. But having said that, we would like the mountain to be safe for everybody. So whether you're running, walking your dog with your family or on a bicycle, mm. it doesn't matter. Safety concerns everybody and for us, if we get involved there, that's the primary objective. We do not favor a cyclist over a runner. We want safety for everybody.